Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. We are talking episode nine theories. We have a bunch. We're not sure where it's going to go in two years' time, but it could go our way if we're right or wrong. Possibly. Let's hope so. Or not. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So first off the bat, we reckon, oh, I reckon, I'm, I'm pretty sure you said it first. Yeah, I I'm going to claim this one. Yeah, Thank you, you very it. much. All right, you claim so, it. Liar! I think the film is going to start off 10 years down the track. 10 years since The Last Jedi. Let's be honest, The Last Jedi did not leave a lot of doors open. There was a lot of closure, I think. I think it was a... There's not a lot left. No, Kylo's not. just a bad guy now. Yeah. And that's Arx really the, that's the only plot thread that's going on. Exactly. You've got, I mean, you've got the first order. They're still building Correct. their army. They're getting bigger and bigger, sure. and 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 the uh, resistance is basically no more. They're kind of almost coming back as the new rebels. Yep. Um, or the rebel alliance. So really, it, it's the threads of things beginning again, and that's Correct. why the ten years. Agreed. Um, and I think yeah, to give that time for this new rebellion to grow, obviously, first order to grow, and then we're going to see some giant conflict. I'll be honest, I don't really think Kylo can come back from what he's done. No. He is... He will, you know, rule the galaxy or die. I don't think Ain't there's no any time... Ain't no coming back, man. Ain't there's, no coming back. There's no... The point of redemption was in the middle of the uh, Snoke's throne room and yeah. he messed it up. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty clear, clear thread of where that's going. I think the other real key thing from Episode Eight to carry over is the coda with the broom boy who, when I saw that movie, I thought that was really weird that they had this, like, finale. Like, it was almost like an end credit sequence yeah. at the end of the movie. But there is, there is something at play there with that, with that force-wheeling kid. Um, and I think we'll see more of that come into play in Episode Nine. And that's where I think Rey is going to start training new Jedi. She's going to start her own, I would say, almost academy and start bringing on these new Jedi. And I think actually, I think actually Broom Boy will play a part in it. He's not going to get a lightsaber this movie. He's just going to use a lightsaber broom. And it's going to be a new lightsaber form. Because, I mean, we didn't get a new lightsaber in Episode Eight, But, you know, we got a new one in, in Phantom Menace and a new one in The Force Awakens. It's due time for a new lightsaber. Well, and that lightsaber is going to be a broomstick. And I'm so excited well, about we, it. Well, we know that for every new lightsaber has to have more blades, right? So the broom is just going to be... Hundreds of thousands of little lightsabers. I love that. That's exactly what I expected to be. And if it's, not, if it's going to be anything else, I don't want to be a part of it. Bring back George Lucas. Forget about everyone else. I want to bring back the... Miss it back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be disappointed if that's not in the movie. Or at least referenced. Uh, what I think is interesting you brought up is the, uh, this concept of Jedi, right? And then Luke's all like, you know, I'm not the last Jedi. But maybe he was yeah. in, the, in its current form because... Ray, you know, she okay, she has some ancient teachings in a book form, but really and I think every all the other multimedia is kind of pointing towards the force existing and people having the force, but not mm -hmm. so much being that religion. And I, I really can't see Ray with no formal teacher, like physically. I'm sure Luke will show up as a ghost, but I really can't see her being like, All right, at nine AM we gotta get up and do our midi chlorine account <laughs> and then ten AM we have to reads the books in the Jedi Library. I just can't see her being that structured. Um, and so, <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if a new Jedi temple is kind of like Hogwarts yeah, yeah, and every yeah. room you go into is another Force ghost? Yes. Kind of like the ghost yeah, going yeah. around Hogwarts? Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, so I, nearly holeless, <laughs> nearly holeless Qui-Gon. <laughs> but... I don't think I don't think it'll be Jedi as we know it, and I think that's kind of where the franchise needs to go. Is that I, the other thing I want to say is that I think Episode Nine will be the end of the Skywalker saga. Hundred percent. There no is doubt. no. I don't think there's any point in doing it. They literally have three three films coming from Ryan Johnson. They have three films coming from the Game of Thrones dudes. They don't need to be locked into the Skywalker saga. And I think no. that's if you'd ask me the secret thing that I think that. Kathy Kennedy tasked J.D. Abrams with when they created Episode 7 is, yes, we want to create a sequel, but we really want to break this franchise out of its mold. That's the right. saga will always be the core of it, but we as we can't expand it, but you have to be Skywalker blood to, yeah, to do it. this thing. So, and I think that's where the broom boy comes in again. It's this idea that to be of a certain bloodline to, to have the Force. Anyone can have it. Mm. And I think you're going to see that expand across all the different forms of multimedia that Star Wars kind of takes its place in. So what's Kylo Ren doing then? He's like a bad, angry man right now, <laughs> right? He is, he is. So I, I, like, I don't. He's just going to try and rule the galaxy. I don't know. He's like right. still angry. He's still like he's very similar to Anakin, right? In that he's just like pouty. Yeah. 
Um, but I mean, if you if you kind of using the poetry theme with the George Lucas yep, has put forth the circle thing, then you kind yep. of gonna I guess you're gonna start seeing if it's gonna go with what Ray's doing, and, we, um, and my theory would be yep. that she's gonna train new Jedi. I reckon that Kylo Ren is gonna train new Sith, but in his sense would be the Knights of Ren. See, it, that's really interesting because the Knights of Ren, like they only briefly touched upon it, and like anything in Star Wars, the movie mentioned it once, everyone goes in a full fanfare yep. about it. Yep. Um, <laughs> But I'm, I'm surprised there's already not a TV series about yeah, around. Yeah, I know. And that's why I think that oh, I imagine them him being like his bodyguard or being like governors that he points around the galaxy or something. I really don't yeah. think it'll be like Phasma, I think. I think it'll be like a very sea level villain in the in the scheme of things or villain. You said an interesting point there. What if what if Phasma was a Knights of Ren? Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> And she got whacked in the face by electric sticks. So. Yeah, and, and if you've seen the deleted scene, she lost a limb. Yeah. She was the only one in that movie to lose. She Technically, like, I mean, if you Snoke lost a lot of limbs, yes, but you know what I mean. And whatnot. And everything. And then cow, cow tongue at the end of that shot. So. Oh, forget that. <laughs> anyway, <sorry. laughs> Talking about Snoke, do you yeah. think there's going to be any, any repercussions or are we going to get anything more on him? Well. If you check out the art of Star Wars for The Last Jedi, there's an interesting interesting shot where Luke is trying to meditate and a Sith ghost appears behind him. The, four, the first Sith ghost ever! Uh, and I think potentially, I mean, to bring back Snoke and kind of finish his storyline of who he was and such like that, which I don't think is really that necessary. No. Who really cares? They're just playing to the fans. Yeah. But if they wanted to play to the fans a little bit and just stop that, you know, few that are out there crying that he didn't get a chance to kind of meet who he was and end that storyline, bringing him back as a Sith ghost might explain and might have that little bit of time to give it to Kylo Ren. And I think they they cleared so much of the slate in Episode 8, like I said, so maybe yeah. there's more room to kind of do some of those things. My thing with Snoke is I think he'll be play part in whatever the Rebels turns into the new the new animated series. If they're exploring mm. that sequel series, they got room to, to kind of potentially explore that character a bit more. I think that's a great medium yeah. for it. Yeah. Because like people who are really into it can get into it and people who do not give two rats and just want to see the movies don't have to worry about it. I love that idea. Forget what I just said. Let's bring it to the TV series. Yeah, gives it more room to grow and yeah. gives that it plays a fan service in another way that the canon or not the, or the films don't need to really yeah, rely on. Yeah, exactly. The films don't need to be bogged down in such a pre-story for those who really yeah. don't need to. Yeah, that's what the yeah. TV series is. It's a perfect idea. Yeah. I love it. Forget everything else I said. Uh, <laughs> the end. Yeah. No, how's, what do you reckon? Who's the villain? Are we just are we just going to see the end of the storyline to Kylo and Ray? I, yeah, Ray? I assume that, you know, in the same way, uh, and this is going to sound really backwards, but I think the Last Jedi had some parallels to Empire Strikes Back, um, but I think that this film will, you know, and if you follow George Lucas' circle thing, almost go back to the simplicity of A New Hope. And I know that Episode 7 was fairly reminiscent of that, but there is really not a lot left, I mm. guess, in that. So I really think it's going to be, oh, we've got this one villain, and we've got this one kind of like Jedi, she'll have a mentor. Yep. Um, but I, I can't imagine it being much more... I think it'll try and go back to basics. Right. I was thinking something along the lines of, I mean, it's it's because because there's really nothing left to kind of tell. I mean, episode eight almost ended that yeah. movie. Like if they played twenty more minutes of that movie, the whole the whole franchise could have yeah. ended. Um, but I mean, let's say that uh, Ray is teaching new Jedi. Mm -hmm. Maybe flowing on with what happened in the Force Awakens. Force Awakens, Kylo Ren might come in and try and take some of those Jedi. And then at the end of the film, he plays a part of the Empire. The Emperor, sorry, gets thrown off the, you know, the balcony yeah. or whatever, throws into the abyss of the Death Star, and uh, and she rescues these Jedi yeah. Knights of Ren, Sith. But that's just just because there's nothing for me. There's nothing really to grasp onto where this storyline could go to outside of the fact that Ray's going to kill Kylo or Kylo's going to kill Ray. See, what I think might happen is I know you were talking about Broomboy potentially like being trained, but I think the idea behind Broomboy and, and is that there is this whole galaxy of people oh, of course, who are yeah. willing to stand up against what they believe is wrong. And I think that will come into play, not so much directly as being trained, but everyone will just stand up for it and say, no, we don't want you taking over this galaxy. Mm. And we have all these friggin' force-wielding kids. Yeah, that's right. They don't need any training. They can just... just Use brooms. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The mess. Yeah. Sweep it all, all under the... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, so that's all our theories? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so that's our so theories. So we've written episode nine. You don't need to see it anymore. That's it. Forget this it. This is it. This is it.
Uh, if you have your own theories, let us know in the comments below because we want to read them. And until next time, we'll see you nerds at the movies.